Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for week two WPF Reg Ice Division. We are up against Yells W, I think that's how you pronounce it. And their team is terrifying. They got Zamazetas crowned, Mew Tear All, Greninja, which is allowed to be both Protean or Battle Bond, or Torrent, Needle King, Megalteria, Darmanitan, Hitmontop, Gorgeist Terra, Galarian Rapidash, Amolga, and Paldea Whooper. Now Something that is really scary is that Zamasa to see. I hate facing Zamasa to see uh, if it's in standard because of the fact that like it's so like fast and bulky, but has really good setup and it's really difficult to take down because its typing is very good as well. The combination of like the fact that it can run like Iron Defense, Body Press, um, How, Trailblaze, all that stuff is just very difficult to uh, uh, prep for. But yeah, let's go into our team real quick. We have Iron Valiant, Palafin, Terra Diggersby, Uxi, Terra Superior, Kilowatchel, Hisuian Quillfish, Palipur, Ticketon, and Karkul. Now, Zampa, as I was mentioning, Zamazenta C is definitely one of the most annoying mods I've prepped for. Um, I could have actually had a chance to draft Zamazenta C, I thought about it, decided against it. Um, but it's just a really annoying mod to prep for, especially since it's the fastest Pokemon in this matchup. I have nothing that outspeeds it. Meaning that um, if it, it could just run enough speed for Kilowatt or just out to be the entire team and set up all over and like sub up or if I want if it wants to too. Uh, Terra Mew, always so annoying. Well, it's kind of annoying to prep for because of the fact that like uh, it could do so many different things. Especially now it's it's a nas national deck, so it has like option. Uh, it's able to run like re reliable recovery and stuff like that. So got to be very careful about what that wants to do in this matchup. You can do a lot of different things. That's literally what Mew does, um, and then. Battle Ball and Grendel versus Protean. I think Protean's coming to this matchup, but hey, facing Battle Bond. Uh, my, <laughs> I, I personally, I think that um, they should either the Battle Bond Protean should be either uh, split apart, or one of the, uh, Battle Bond should be banned because uh, that thing is so stupid with it. But yeah, uh, there's a, a lot of things I think on the team that are really good against my team. Um, specifically, I don't have a switch into Nido King right now. My best switch in is Uxi, but I need Uxi to uh, help with Zamasa to see. So I have a really bad feeling that Nido King could just break open my team very easily, and I don't have much to do with it. Then there's a combination of other things like Gorgeist is like one of the better options to deal with Diggersby. Even though I'm Terra Diggersby, Gorgeist could really could, uh, the typing alone could be really annoying for me to deal with, um, especially Super. And then. Mega Altaria always kind of annoying, um, especially now that it has Return of Frustration because it could run just like a Return, uh, Earthquake, Giant Dance, Roost kind of set. It could be bulky too if it wants to, but I think it would want to get more offensive to be able to hit take a ton. And yeah, I feel like Gorgas has to kind of come to this match. Um, it helps to get Palafin as well because Palafin could go in on their team otherwise. Um, I honestly want to use Mega Altaria as a switch in, but I don't think that's a really good switch into it. To personally, I feel like it could die. Like it probably, uh, it probably gets two shot maybe depending on the set. Uh, yeah. So looking at the like looking at the back, I expect uh, Zamasa to see Mew, Greninja, Needle King, Gorgeist, and then not sure what the six Mon will be. Um, could be a combination of things. Uh, Personally, I could see Hitmontop or Megalitaria being the 6 Mon. I don't really think Darmanitan is that good of the matchup with the fact that I have Rain setting as well, and plus I have Karkul who, who could be immune to it. I know that Karkul might not be the best, especially because they're Gren and Samus at the sea there, but I think be able to. Um, I think the combination of both like Rain plus Palafin um, plus Karkul makes this matchup really difficult for Darms. So I don't think it's coming. I don't think <laughs> I don't think Paldea Whooper is coming. Uh, I'm be honest, I didn't even prep for it because I don't think it's good. I, I don't think it's that good in this matchup at all, or even like worth I guess prepping for. Amolga could be kind of annoying um, because of like Thunder or whatever shenanigans. It could be a good switch into Kilowattle. Uh, it could be really annoying with like Nuzzle Thunder Wave kind of shenanigans, and then Glaring Rapidash. It could be alright. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really seem too good with uh, to get on there, but and his suing Coolfish. 
but I don't know. They could bring it. But I really see the Zamas of the Sea, Mew, Terra, Greninja, Needle King, Gorgeist, Terra coming. Um, Gorgeist, I don't think will Terra, probably be Mew, though. And then the final sp uh, in the final spot, I think, is going to be Mega Terra hit him on top. So let's go into sort of like the prep idea that I was going with for this matchup. And to begin with, I'm going to start off with Pelipper. Um, Want to rain this game uh, specifically? Also for Pal for Palafin, but also the one of the main things I want Pelipper for, because I have a really big feeling a T spikes are coming again. Um, specifically on Mew or Neo King. And I want to be able to remove that because um, T spikes are gonna be really annoying against me, especially with like Zamas at the C there. Game, like if they're chipping me down with T spikes, it's just gonna be very frustrating throughout the game. Um, I might actually probably make some transactions to try to fix that because I can't, it's very frustrating to try to do with it um, each week. So yeah, I am going to leave, uh, have Pelipper, U-turn, Hurricane, Defog, Roost. I feel like Hurricane was better this matchup to hit Gorgas because I feel like Gorgas was probably one of the, the better defensive answers to my team right now. So I felt like that was kind of necessary for this match. And then um, momentum with U-Term, Defog, Roost, of course. I'm running the Wakamberry, and this is because, um, in case they're, like, Thunderbolt Mew, or, like, maybe I could, like, if it's not, uh, I think if it's Timid Life Orb, no, maybe it's Timid Life Orb, or Modest No Item, um, I think I love a to T Thunderbolt from Needle King, could be really clutch, I think, um, also really nice for, like, in case he's, like, uh, Trailblaze Wild Charge, or like a wild charge set on Zamas at the Sea to try to hit Palafin and Pelipper. I thought that was going to be a really good idea there. Um, could be, it's going to be really clutch. Next we got Superior. We're running Terra Stella this week. I could not figure out which Terra I wanted to be this week, so I went with Terra Stella. I felt like it was the best way to hit his team, because no matter what Terra I ran, it was going to struggle against something, specifically Gren or Zamas at the Sea, because um, they're able to cover each other pretty well. And so I decided to go with Stellar to try to hit as hard as possible. But like, I also want to be able to hit like Mega Altaria and stuff with like the Terra Blast. So that's why I went like Terra Stellar. Um, the grass typing is really nice. And I actually, so I actually live a, I live a plus two bodies press, I believe with this set. Um, glare is really nice to slow down things like Zamazenta, Greninja. Um, gonna be really annoying with Mew though, because it's synchronized, it's synchronized, so that's something to know. I don't think Darm's coming, this is why I thought Terra Star would be really nice, because I don't think he's gonna be able to revenge it as easily, unless he's Protean Gren. Um, yeah, and we got Sub here. Uh, don't know if I really need Sub this match, but it could be really nice to maybe try to set up on Gorgeist. Um, or like on a Switch, or like against like Momoga or Padea, Wooper, uh, Wooper or something like that, I guess. Um, could have been better. I Maybe Synthesis was better. I don't know, um, but that's what we're going with for this week. Next, we got Sketch AV, the Uxi with Rocky Helmet Pain Split, Psychic Noise, U-Turn Thunder Wave. Now, this is my Zamazenta answer. I was originally going to be a Calm Mindset with the Rocky Helmet Pain Split, but um, I really wanted the momentum. I think is better this game. The reason I'm running Thunder Wave, uh, the reason I'm running Psychic Noise is case. He, so I don't, I don't want him, to, I don't want him to rest with Zamas at the sea, basically. Um, as long as I can stop it from resting, I think I'm in a really good position. So that was kind of the idea there. Pain split to get back recovery, especially since like I'm not running max HP on it, um, as well. So I'm gonna get a lot of recovery back. And you know, you can see, uh, HP stat isn't that high to begin with. I'm running a little bit spadef. I believe it was so I can I don't get too killed by Sludge Wave from Needle King. Life Orb Sludge, Sludge Wave. I think Modest too, because um, I realized before the before the match, right? Like the day I think the day of the match, I realized I don't really have a good way to pivot into Needle King if it leads. Um, so that's something to note. So I decided to go with that. Um, U turn momentum and then Thunder Wave is really nice in case he's like Trailblaze. Someone's at the sea, or like to catch the Gren switching in, or like for um, like Altaria, stuff like that, I think it would be really good. Even getting a Thunder Wave off on um, Mew, because I don't really care as much if Uxie gets paralyzed, as long as it's able to move, because I'm already minus uh, speed anyway, so, to get the momentum. So, that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, it's the reason I have Uxie like this is for a later Mon, um, to be able to take advantage of the Zamas at the Sea, so. Next up, we got Twigs. 
uh, the Palafin uh, AV here, Jet Punch, Close Combat, Ice Punch, Flip Turn, um, running very spadef, not many, not HP invested at all, but really spadef. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because as Gren is such a huge problem, <laughs> so I wanted a decent answer to Gren, which actually, this Palafin is a really good answer to Gren, and can be a good, a decent answer to Needle King too, uh, which is why I wanted to get off, I want to get big form as soon as possible. Um, this coverage hits his team very well. Jet Punch, Close Combat, Ice Punch, Flip Turn. Uh, I could have gone Dream Punch, but I feel like Close Combat was just better to get higher damage output on like something like Zombies at the Sea. And Ice Punch, of course, with Gorgeist and Mega Altaria. I'm Max Attack too, so I'm going to still hit like a truck here too. Um, but I think this is really a uh, really good Pokemon in this match, especially if I get a Brain too. He doesn't have that many good switch ins to it. Gorgeist and Mega Altaria being the best switch ins he has. And either way, like. Um, I have mons that could probably, I could mons that could definitely pressure it, this kind of idea. So, yeah, uh, that's the point of the set. I believe I don't get, I don't get to a KO'd by Life for Battle Bond Gren, Grass Knot. Uh, I think it was with the Calc after Rocks, I think, was probably the Calc. Um, although I do expect Protein income, but I don't know if he's, I don't know how, like, likely he's going to, um, Click Grass Nut on my team unless Palfin is already on the uh, early on the field, so I could try to pivot around to try to deal with it. Um, was kind of the idea, so yeah. Next but not least, this is um, this is Iron Valley at the Chubba Dub. Uh, very interesting set. Uh, so this is basically one of my ways to try to deal with Samus at the setting up. So my idea is that Uxie takes the hit, you turn down to on Zuma Zama's at the C. What whether it iron defenses, howls, or body press, I can U-turn out, get into Iron Valley Encore and then start setting up with Combine. Moonblast plus Psychic hits his team really, really hard. The only thing that like take the hit really well is not much. Um, unless he brings a steel a terror steel, I think. Darm is probably the only one that takes it eh well. But Moonblast Psychic really hits his team extremely hard. Um, also, could man also could I want to mention that I could see Scarf Grand this match too because of the fact he wants to outspeed um, Booster Energy, uh, Booster Energy Iron Valiant. But yeah, um, Moonblast with Psychic if you look down the coverage hits his team really hard. So that was kind of the idea I went with it. Um, and Encore is really good to stop setup. Um, also could be really good to stop setup with Mega Altaria. If a Dragon Dance is up, I could go like if I U-turn out on the Mega Altaria Dragon Dance, I could get into Iron Valley on court and just click Moonblast or Calm Mind in Moonblast, the Moonblast kind of situation. Um, yeah, I felt like this would be a really good mod of this, uh, this match at least. So uh, that's just my, like, I guess my um, safety measure against this stupid Samas at the sea. <laughs> so, yeah. Last but not least, we got Diggersby Techno with huge power, Earthquake, Knockoff Agility, Sword Sense, Terra Ghost. Very weird set. So. This is in case he brings mono uh, body press set with uh, Zamas at the Sea. Don't think he will, but it's just in case. I have Terra Ghost. Um, I'm also focused Sash, so I want to get rid of Hazards, which is why, part of the reason why I brought Pelipper. Um, but yeah, this thing is really good against his team. Um, I think like uh, if I get a, if I get both off, which is perfectly possible with me being, being Terra Ghost um, and being able to um, have the focus Sash, I'm able to get. Like, I could be able to get it off with an Earthquake knockoff. Um, and the only thing that really um, is supposed to take the knockoff, I guess, like, the only thing I need really knockoff for is really, I guess, Gorgeist and a Terra and a Moga. I guess if they run, like, a Terra, Go a Terra Grass Mew or something like that, or Flying, whatever. But I don't think either one of those are coming. So I felt like Diggersby would be the best option here. Um, Ghost is really nice also to block the Mock Punch from Hitmon Top for trying to revenge. Um, and actually makes it so that Gren isn't able to hit it as hard with Water Shuriken, which is pretty nice as well. But the main idea was that it was supposed to set up on Zama Zenta C, which is kind of a crazy idea. But um, as I said, I wanted to be extra careful about that Zama Zenta C because it's so stupid. Um, yeah. Uh, I believe after plus two knockoff, as long as he's not Colbert, should take out uh, Super Gorgeist. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And yeah, that's the team we're going with. Very interesting team. Um, don't know how it's going to play out because Needle King, of course, is so threatening against our team with the team I'm bringing at, le at least. And then Zamazenta C, always scary, even though I have a lot of prep for it with uh, Pelipper, Uxie, 
well, more like Uxie into Iron Valley and Diggers B, those kind of things. I feel like it, but I feel like kind of all right about Summer Sense to see, but we'll see how it plays out because I think I have a, a good enough plan to deal with it, but you never know. That mon is a absolute monster. But yeah, uh, we are going to cut to the match. Uh, I'll see you in a sec. So they end up bringing Mew, Needle King, Gren, Galarian, Rapidash, Darmanitan, Zombies at the seat. Not the team I was expecting. And just uh, FYI, that is Terra, Poison, Mew. Very interesting. Did not expect that at all in this matchup whatsoever. Um, specifically, the Galarian, Rapidash, and the Terra, Poison, Mew. I, I guess Terra, Poison, Mew, I guess, makes sense to try to help against Superior. Um, and I guess Valiant, too. But I have Psychic Coverage, so that's kind of good this match. Decide, I'm glad I decided to go with the sets I went with. I am shocked to see no Hitmon on top. Oh, but the big one is Gorgas. No Gorgas was crazy to me, especially with Diggers being powerful in the air. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go into the match. Turn this down. Go so I'm going to lead Palfin because I want this uh, Palfin to go off as soon as possible against his team. Um, specifically, it looks so because it looks so good this match because. Everything is probably two would by Palafin right now, so or one if not one shot. So I'm gonna get Palafin off as soon as possible. And I'm able to take the hits as well, which is really nice with it. They lead Mew, um, leading me to believe this is a lead hazard stack Mew um, because of the fact that first off I don't have a T spike absorber uh, that I brought to this match, but luckily I have Pelipper with Defog, so I'm gonna hard switch into Pelipper here because I expect the like T spikes or whatever hazard to go up. And they go, do, in fact, go for T-Spikes. So both weeks, <laughs> people brought T-Spikes against me. I'm going to definitely make a transaction this upcoming week um, for week three to try to, I guess, like, make sure that people don't bring it anymore, really. But I'm immediately going to go for a defog here. Um, get rid of those T-Spikes because Superior looks really good as well if there's no T-Spikes on the field. So um, that's what my plan is. They go, they show the Volt Switch, which is, like, really good that I brought the Wakan because Volt Switch would have kill, killed me otherwise. Uh, and uh, they go into Grant here. I'm gonna defog, and I'm gonna go straight back out to pa uh, back out to Palafin because right now Grant can't really hit Palafin that hard unless it goes for a Protean Grass Knight. And then if that that's the case, um, it needs to be like a spec set to really really put in like uh, scare me out kind of thing, so I can make the pivot out to like Superior. So I'm gonna go into Palafin here hard, and right now, um, and they go as they go for a. Ice Beam. I guess expecting the Superior to come in. Really good. I chew that as you see. 12% kind of crazy. And I believe I just get a free uh, Jet Punch. Uh, I think or Flip Turn. I forgot exactly. I think I went for Jet Punch. Yeah. I went for Jet Punch because I didn't want allow Mew in for free to get up the Sea Spikes again. So I'm going to just go for a free Jet Punch here. And look at that damage. Well, <laughs> look at that damage. That is pretty much a dead Glaring <laughs> Rapid Dash. So I'm just going for another one. Uh, jet Punch hits super hard, and that's not even like, this isn't like, this is a max attack, it's not even item boosting or anything like that, so, looking really good, Palafin, as they, as the rain ends, and they got the Zombies out to sea, I believe I either pivot straight out to Uxie or a flip turn, yeah, I pivot straight out to Uxie, look, looking at like how Palafin is still a really good answer to Grant, especially now it's, even though it's, I'm not as worried about it because it's Protean, not, um, not, uh, Battle Bomb, but they could be Scarf, um, didn't I forgot if I checked the, the damage output on it? Um, but yeah, go straight out to Uxi as they reveal the iron defense. So, um, from there, I'm going to click U turn immediately, I believe, um, to get the momentum out to Iron Valiant or something like that because I don't know what to expect. As they go out to Gren, I get a good chunk off and I bring back in Palafin, and I'm just gonna flip turn, I believe, on this one. They go for a U turn. Um, I want to get some momentum and not allow uh, something like Mew in, or I guess Needle King, because <laughs> they just sack off Needle King and that's dead. So maybe they're expecting the close combat here on like uh, against the Grand because um, or something like that. But I just flip turn out, just kill this thing from uh, full, and I believe I go off to Superior here. I want to put on some pressure here. Uh, and if, they, if I could force Darman, that would be great, because then I could sack off Pelipper and get Palafin back in and just pretty much could just win the game from it there. So, um, I'm going to go Superior. They go into Mew, so I know for a fact I'm like, dude, they're definitely Terra, po terra Poisoning here. But 
I want to punish them for trying to set up T-Spikes, because this is the mod that really would hide the T-Spikes. I mean, Digger Speed too, because of um, Focus Dash, but uh, right now in this match, I think Superior is the mod that hates the T-Spikes the most. Um, so I'm just going to go for a Leaf Storm here and try to take this thing down with me, or at least like <clears throat> nerf this as much as possible, because then it makes the end game a lot cleaner for like Iron, Va Iron Valley at this game. Because uh, Iron Valley is looking so good. If I could get an Encore off on the Zamazenta, I think Iron Valley could just clean this game. Uh, if I get a little chip on Darm, I think, and a little chip on Mew. So <clears throat> I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm. They go for Terra Poison. Very interesting. Um, get the plus two off right now. As they go for the Bug Buzz, I didn't go for the Terra yet, for the Terra uh, Terrestrialization Leaf Storm yet. Uh, Terra Stellar Leaf Storm because I was saving just in case I wanted to keep Diggersby in the back with the Terra Ghost. I was expecting them to go for T Spikes too, but would have been crazy actually is if they got the Bug Bus Bedef drop because I would have gotten the Contrary Boost. I, if I could have like been able to hit take another hit from like Gren or something like that here, I'm at plus two now with Superior. I get the Leftovers Recovery. Um, <clears throat> I probably could have lived another hit yet. Um, <clears throat> from here, from Bug Buzz, and I could, depending on the Gren set, I could have probably hit from there too. <clears throat> unless it's you unless the u-turn maybe the u-turn might pull me out take me out but um <clears throat> i'm gonna pop the terror blast i want this thing kind of gone um it's kind of frustrating for my team and i'd rather just get rid of get rid of it right now um don't allow them to set up t-spikes because they might just set up t-spikes now because they're it, superior is kind of in range of scarf darm now so i'm gonna fire off the terror blast terror a terror <laughs> stellar and <clears throat> that okos crazy damage and i get the special attack attack boost crazy superior terror stellar is kind of underrated i <clears throat> i wasn't sure about it but look at that damage right there just <laughs> 84 percent to uh mew which is crazy um yeah so now they got to go into either darm or grant here to try to revenge me i think or zamazenta maybe but i don't think i, I don't think a body press will take me out because they already got the it doesn't have the defense boost anymore so as they sh choose to go out to grant Perfectly fine with me. I believe I sack this off in case you want to overpredict. Um, and I get to go to Palafin for free here. As that dies. And now I'll go out to Palafin here. And I'm just going to go for the uh, close combat here. Just in case they want to go into Zamazenta. Um, I could have gone for the Jet Punch. But I wanted to put in the pressure in case he tried to hard switch into Zamazenta there. They have crazy enough they go Darmanitan. They probably think I'm like banded or something like that because like but like crazy enough I don't think um if they calc it correct they might uh they would have seen the glaring rapidash the calc was not banded but maybe they, they messed up with like the rain situation but yeah um I'm just gonna jump punch kill this thing here and like all that's left is Zamazenta. Now I could just here's the thing right so Zamazenta C still very scary of a Pokemon. Um I don't really want to deal with it so my idea is I'm going to click flip turn out. Um, I could have just CC twice if they don't iron the fence, but I didn't want them to iron the fence out. So I'm gonna go straight into uh, flip turn out, see what they want to do. If they go for the iron defense, I go just go out to Iron Valley and just click Encore and that's game. Um, I just didn't want to allow it set up. Um, if they don't go for iron defense, I could go out to Uxi and just pressure it down with that. So uh, they go for a crunch and I'm just gonna flip turn out and do a decent amount and I'm gonna go straight out to Uxi here uh, as they show they're not gonna do iron defense there and it's just gonna crunch down and I'm just gonna keep getting chip damage down I'm gonna show off the psychic noise here uh, just to make sure it doesn't rest on me or anything like that which could be really annoying as I go they go for another crunch I'm gonna go for another psychic noise I believe for some reason the mechanics kind of weird because um, I think it's like since the original psychic noise went off this here um it goes for one turn after and then they're free to go the next turn but because i was almost at the out to speed to me psychic noise uh didn't work so they technically could have rested here but uh if that's the case i could click u-turn here get out into like iron valiant um because they've shown to be iron defense crunch so there's no way they're rest sleep talk so they go for another crunch get the defense drop and just die to rocky helmet so Uxi just killing it right there um, I feel really, <laughs> the game was a lot different than I thought it was going to be. I was a lot more worried about some of the sets, like specifically Zamas at the Sea. I was really worried about Gorgeist coming, because Gorgeist was really annoying against my t uh, against some of my mods. Um, did not expect the team they brought, 
But yeah, we pull out the dub. And with a crazy team, good 5-0. Superior coming in, clutch to break down the Mew and prevent them from setting up T-Spikes again. So yeah, we pull out the dub. We're now 2-0. and And I believe it was, what, we're plus 6 now? So very clutch. And yeah, I really like the, the way the team is working. I do. I'm, I'm going to plan on making some FAs. And actually, you know what? I'll, I'll mention them now. Um, so I end up dropping the. Let's see. I end up dropping Hisui and Coefficient and Tinkaton. Um, specifically, because I can't. I didn't find myself bringing. Like, wanting to bring Hisui and Coefficient that much. As much as I would have been cool with Rain. Maybe if it was Overclaw, I would have considered it. But, like, I feel like um, there was other, another poison type that could fit the, the role a lot better. And I uh, dropped Take a Ton to help with the points in order to get this poison type. Um, so, because I felt like the other parts of the team were really good, I guess, right? And with me dropping uh, Take a Ton, I needed to grab a Dark type and a Steel type as well. Uh, with me grabbing, dropping his Hisuian Coolfish and Take a Ton, I wanted to grab a Poison, Steel, and Dark type. So the three Pokemon, I went drop two for three Pokemon. The first one I added to the team was Dragalge. Dragon Poison, really good adaptability kind of thing. It's really, I think it's what's really nice with it is that like it can flip turn as it brings in the Steel types, flip turn. I can flip turn out and get into Diggers B and Iron Valiant and put on a lot of pressure with on those Steel types um, for me, I guess. So that's something that give me uh, that's something to help out. It also gives me a really good Electric Resist too, um, so I'm not as heavily using like worrying about using uh, Kilowattle and. Uh, Digger Speed as my switches and Superior, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, it gives me a special wall breaker because I might not have some really good physical wall breakers, but I don't have that really good special, I guess, unless you count Valiant. And so I guess Superior is pretty good too, um, to be honest, but it's more of a steamrolling option. So I thought that would be really good. Um, and it really pressures fairies as well, which is really nice, I think, for this match. Then uh, the Steel type I ended up grabbing was Fortress. Um, Gives me another removal option, gives me more rocks, gives me T-Spikes, gives me spikes. Dragachi also gives me T-Spikes, but I think Fortress gives me more of like the like hazard control role, good momentum. Um, I People were flaming me about it, but like, I think I've used Fortress really well in the past uh, in this Gen 9. Uh, I'm not going to review some of the sets I've brought before, but I, I think it could really function well on this team. Uh, and under Rain as well. Um, getting rid of that four times weakness to fire fire moves was really clutch. So I think that could be really worth for my team. And the last Pokemon I decided to grab was my Dark type, and that is Absol. Um, people, <laughs> I don't know how people how much how people feel about Absol. Uh, I know I've seen OGO buying up react to one of my Absol games, thinking it was like a whack, a whack game, but uh, Absol has. I've swept with Absol before, I'm just saying, like regular Absol, and like a standard league with Gen 8, but uh, I think that Absol does provide some really good uh, things for my team. Specifically, one thing I really wanted was a Pursue Trapper. I think this mon could really do it for me. Um, gives me good another form of priority, knockoff. Uh, it gives me a way to like make them think twice about clicking like Dark Moves because I have Justified as well. I can run like a Super Luck set. Um, there's just a lot of things I think Absol provides, and I'm looking forward to using it again. But yeah, this is that's our new team, um, and yeah, we pulled out a dub as I mentioned before. But yeah, I wanted to thank all you guys so much for watching. Until next time, Bash out.